uh, video and with the help of that we, we are going to revise and discuss okay just have just relax and just go through these uh, labels I hope everyone has gone through the video, huh? Assuming that everyone has seen it. Yes, sir. Then this this was the another slide that I discussed in the recording. We uh, when we will see the video, so a good revision will be done. Forget about this slide for now. Now this is important. Have a look at this. How from uh, the primordial egg cells, how it develops and matures and forms a, a proper uh, egg cell, okay, enclosed in into these layer of cells. Yes, so we are going to revise this one by one. We we'll just have a look right now. This is how a mature graphene follicle. Along with the egg will look like the egg here and the surrounding follicles here. Uh, this is the comparison between uh, genesis and spermatogenesis. You will see that. Chalo. So let's just revise. Uh, I have a video over here. Let's go here. Let me see which one we will see first. Let me just share my sound. Uh, I jump cells if this, to form. If this audio is good to hear, otherwise uh, I will speak and you will see the animation. Uh, let me know if you are okay with the audio of the person who is speaking. If you are okay, then I will. Uh, I mean, uh, I will not deactivate the computer sound. Okay, let me know. Okay, I'm just playing for uh, half a minute and then tell me. of maturation of oogenesis is the process of maturation of primordial germ cells to form a mature ovum oogenesis begins during intrauterine life is the uh, i mean are, are you okay with the type of audio that is there along with the video chalega ki main bolu didi aapki voice bahut break ho rahi hai ikra Uh, is it breaking for only ikra or all of you not sabke liye break ho rahi hai nahi na theek hai ikra mein bhi thoda aapka network fluctuate ho raha hoga so just have patience for few minutes and or you can just log in and log out if you want agar zyada break ho rahi hai to theek hai chalo तो मैं ऑडियो रख रही हूँ जस्ट कीपिंग द ऑडियो ऑफ द वीडियो एज इट इज एंड इन बिटवीन आई एल पॉज आई मीन हाउ डू हाउ वी डिस्कस तो वो वैसा नॉर्मल रहेगा सो ओजेनेस इज वॉट बेसिकली फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ मेच्योर एग फ्रॉम द प्राइमोडियल एग प्राइमोडियल एग इज समथिंग विच इज ऑलरेडी विच वॉज इनिशियली मेड और फॉर्म वेन द फीमेल बेबी वॉज डेवलपिंग इन साइड द मदर्स वूम ठीक है, 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 ह you know uh, it happens in a stage wise manner uh, we had discussed about the destruction of uh, large number of egg cells okay uh, in the previous life class with the term atresia we discussed about uh, in today's um, revision class the recordings which i shared uh, earlier 
the process of oogenesis we are going to understand just like we understood the process of spermatogenesis ki sperms kaise banenge from the parent sperm cells parent mother cells okay mother cells or the parent cells sperm cells usse haploid to ye diploid hote hain then how haploid cells haploid gametes spermatozoa or the motile sperms are formed तो वो हमने देखा था इन द सिमिलर मैनर हम ऊजेनेसिस करेंगे यहाँ पे ऊजेनेसिस विल ऑब्वियसली विल टेक प्लेस इन द फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम ठीक है तो लेट्स जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस वीडियो ओजेनेसिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ मैच्यूरेशन ऑफ प्रिमोडियल जम सेल्स टू फॉर्म अ मैच्योर ओवम ओजेनेसिस बिगेन्स during intrauterine life primordial sex cells reach to developing ovary at the end of fifth week of development on reaching the developing ovary this primordial sex cells multiplied by mitosis this is happening when when a female baby is developing inside the mother's uh, womb mother's uterus wo time pe after uh, you know uh, certain uh, weeks then once the respiratory system is in uh, you know development uh, heart has been formed digestive system has been formed and they are under development and maturation similarly reproductive system also has to be formed okay so reproductive system mein ye sare changes honge uh when the baby is inside the womb only okay and forms numerous ogonia yes so remember in uh, the spermatogenesis uh, the parent cells divides by mitotic division and it makes more number of uh, parent cells the number has increased there we discussed uh, the terminology spermatogonia just increasing the number of parent cells similarly yahan pe bhi primordial cells kya karenge apne aap mitotic division karenge bahut sara okay ek parent cell se do cells banenge fir do se char then 4 to uh, 36 and 32 32 16 to 32 like that okay so here what is the name oogonia okay these are the parent uh, egg cells or the parent primordial cells these have been resulted by mitotic division not meiosis abhi meiosis picture mein nahi aaya hai mitotic division only okay so the term is oogonia oogonia increase in cell size and differentiates into primary oocyte at around okay so the first step is oogonia ho gaya hai and in the same uh, baby it is still inside only this oogonia then further goes under development and now it is known as what oogonia se kya ban gaya wo primary oocyte just by increase in size for the development for the maturation okay this will happen around third month of development when the baby is in the third month okay you all know uh, the pregnancy takes place for 9 months so there are different stages of development that will happen in those 9 months so jab third the uh, third month ka baby develop matlab uh, at the third month uh, uh, you know first trimester or something like that so wo time pe ye development ho raha hai in the reproductive part of that embryo around third month of development this primary oocyte enters into the prophase of first meiotic division now so we started from what primordial egg cells then they underwent primary sorry oogonia mitotic division hua i will write mitotic mit oogonia oogonia further developed into primary oocyte okay this primary oocyte will now undergo meiotic division samajh mein aa raha hai ye step 1 humne discuss kiya primary primordial germ cell se oogonia just by increasing the number by simple cell division mitotic division then this oogonia which is diploid in condition abhi bhi diploid hi hai now they will undergo meiotic division now you tell me this primary oocyte now Will undergo meiotic division. What will be the outcome? 
what will be the chromosomal state of whatever will be formed uh, i am not asking you which cell will be formed but can you tell me from two end what will be the chromosomal state of the outcome whatever cells will be formed is it will it remain two end or uh, will it change come on yes as if the saying n n what about others do you agree okay good good so after meiotic division ye diploid primary oocyte will convert into haploid uh, cells okay now what are they known as we will see fine but ye itna simple nahi hota hai oogenesis mein like spermatogenesis thoda se you know tricky hai isme kuch uh, details hai that you need to know each primary oocyte this primary oocyte enters into the prophase of first meiotic division each primary oocyte is surrounded by flattened epithelial cells called as follicular cells primary oocyte along with surrounding flat follicular cells forms primordial follicle understood now what is the next step once the primary oocyte has been developed ab wo aage jayega next stage of development uske aas paas kya banna start hoga follicular cells banna chalu honge ab unka naam kya ho jayega primordial follicle okay too many new names you have to just understand it in a step by step manner so it will be uh, relatively simpler okay at the time of birth the primary oocyte completes the prophase of first meiotic division and enters into prolonged resting phase known as dictyostin stage okay it now, remain in this stage until before ovulation what do you understand by this i just uh, what do you see the flow chart over here at birth so this was happening up till the story was happening where in the baby in the female baby inside the mother's womb theek hai to primary oocyte yahan tak divide hota hai mitotic division tak ka first mitotic division ho ke ye lo just give me a second She's troubling me a lot. Anyway, so uh, primary oocyte will complete uh, will undergo meiotic division. अच्छा meiotic division में आपको पता है meiotic part one होता है meiotic part two होता है. Okay, so uh, meiotic part one में prophase तक ये होगा and then it will enter a resting phase. Okay, जैसे birth होगा ना till year uh, this 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 अप टिल यर इट इज हैपनिंग इन साइड द वूम ओनली यहाँ पे रेस्ट स्टॉप हो जाएगा देन द बर्थ विल हैपन बर्थ तक का कुछ चेंजेस नहीं होगा एंड आफ्टर द बर्थ टिल द प्यूबर्टी नथिंग विल हैपन इट विल रिमेन इन द सेम स्टेट टिल ओव्यूलेशन हैपन्स एंड दिस विल हैपन एट प्यूबर्टी दिस विल हैपन वेन वेन द फीमेल रीचेस अप्रोक्सीमेटली थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज ओके so this until uh, ovulation jab bhi puberty hoga and all that stuff will happen so tab tak uh, this will remain as it is okay fir hum aage ka dekhte hain so thoda se tricky hai in case of female uh, oogenesis i will just replay it again enters into of birth the follicle at the time of birth the primary oocyte completes the prophase of first meiotic division and enters into prolonged resting phase known as dictyostin stage it remain in this stage until before ovulation around 2 million primary oocyte are present in each ovary at the time of birth from this about 40000 follicles persist at puberty remain this we have discussed in the previous live class also right 
कि बर्थ पे इतने मिलियंस ऑफ प्राइमोडियल फॉलिकल्स होते बट बाय द टाइम द फीमेल रीचेस प्यूबर्टी दोस नंबर ऑफ एग्स आर रिड्यूस ऑटोमेटिकली दे डिस्ट्रॉय देमसेल्व्स और दे डीजेनरेट ओके सो वेरी फ्यू ओसाइट्स आर रिमेनिंग सॉरी वेरी फ्यू प्राइमोडियल फॉलिकल्स आर रिमेनिंग रिमेनिंग ओसाइट्स एंड देयर फॉलिकुलर सेल्स फॉर्म्स द इंटरस्टिशियल सेल्स ऑफ ओवरी at the time of birth the primary oocyte completes the prophase of first meiotic division and enters into prolonged resting phase known as dictyotene stage here the primary oocyte has 44 xx chromosomes and measure around 35 microns it remain in this stage until before ovulation around any questions up till here so this is what we have discussed up till now any doubts coming to your mind we are going very slowly yeah very slowly and aaram uh, aaram se hum ye decode kar rahe revise kar rahe hai all of you are okay all of you are understanding i can see only one response shravani ka thank you shravani What about others? Hoping that you have seen the recording, ah? Huh? I cannot break every point, ah, uh, one, you know, into uh, small, uh, small thing and explain because uh, this is ah uh, like class revision that we are doing. Okay, Saima, thank you for your acknowledgement. What about others? I'm waiting for a few more ah uh, confirmation. Then we we'll move forward. Okay, thank you, Inzam. Thank you, Asif. Chalo. Two million primary oocyte. are present in each ovary at the time of birth this millions of primary oocyte continue to remain in prolonged resting phase from birth until puberty at puberty out of millions of primary oocyte only about 40000 primary follicles persist during each menstrual cycle about 5 to 12 primary oocytes come out of dictyotene stage under the influence of gonadal hormone secreted by okay uh, before he completes his statement yeah. 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 yes yeah. 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 before uh, please uh, excuse me for that uh, she will keep on coming in between i hope that's not disturbing for you guys mm -hmm. if it is then just tell me i will move into another room okay she has in my uh, i have a daughter of 2 year old so uh, she will keep disturbing intermittently anyway तो अभी हम कहाँ तक पहुंचे बर्थ हो गया बर्थ तक का कोई चेंज जहाँ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द ऊर्जेस वॉज अपटिल फर्स्ट प्रोफेस ऑफ द मियोटिक पार्ट वन ठीक है वहां पे रेस्ट आई मीन देर इज दिस रेस्टिंग फेज नथिंग विल हैपन आफ्टर दैट द एग्स विल रिमेन इन दैट कंडीशन अंटिल प्यूबर्टी हिट्स प्यूबर्टी मीन्स द नाउ फीमेल मेच्योर्स एंड डेवलप reaches uh, teenage stage or into adult stage mostly uh, approximately 15 years of age just ko hum bolte hain then she starts experiencing uh, menstrual cycle at that uh, age we call it as menarche okay menarche m e so beginning of the menstrual cycle is known as when the female starts experiencing uh, menarche and this is around 15 years of age plus or minus 2 years and when the female is uh, approximately 45 to 50 years of age so usko bulate hain menopause okay tabhi uh, reproductive cycle uh, you know kind of goes into a rest phase this is approximately 45 to 50 years 50 60 years of age uske baad mein the female does not uh, experiences uh, menstrual cycle okay theek hai to hum kya kaha the uh, now the puberty starts and now uh, the changes that takes place in the female so the major changes that takes place in the ovary is now every month the female will start uh, 
producing one one egg mature egg and if that egg is fertilized with the sperm okay if there is let's say copulation and the sperm is available uh, is there in the female reproductive system then the egg uh, and the sperm will unite and zygote will be formed and pregnancy will take place if egg is not there so the uh, sorry if sperm is not there the egg will wait for one day or two day uh, two days approximately 48 to 72 hours and then this egg will degenerate so along with the egg and the uterus lining will come out as blood which will be known as menstrual uh, fluid or menstruation or the menses okay so wo end story hai so uske beech mein how the egg is matured and it is released from the ovary wo hum ab kar rahe hain ठीक है, because we left at where uh, at uh, meiotic one prophase. ठीक है, उसके बाद में how uh, the changes takes place in the ovary when the female reaches almost let's say दस पंद्रह साल बाद then वो वापस से it it comes out of the resting phase. These eggs comes out of the resting phase and then start developing further. So what is that development story that we are seeing that we are revising? Clear? All of you are on the same page with me. any confusion up till here one of the important topics which is asked in exam by the way ah so this is not something uh, we are just taking time and uh, you know investing a lot of time in this you need to understand this because many questions are asked in this topic in genesis pe puchte hai structure of the graphene follicle describe and explain okay so you need to know this concept thoroughly sometimes they might ask you difference between spermatogenesis and oogenesis तो ये सारी चीजें आपको याद होनी चाहिए फाइन चलो आगे बढ़ते हैं मैं थोड़ा से रिप्ले करती हूँ ड्यूरिंग इच मेंस्ट्रोल साइकिल About five to twelve primary oocytes come out of dictyotin stage under the influence of gonadal hormones secreted by anterior pituitary gland. अच्छा, one more thing. See, again and again, I'll be uh, pausing and uh, will be coming in between. Uh, automatic नहीं होगा. Everything will happen from year now, from the puberty, because birth से लेके puberty तक तो hormones will not uh, majorly come. Especially the reproductive hormones will not come into picture. Obviously, other growth hormones and all those will be there. But reproductive hormones जो होते हैं ना वो puberty के बाद ज़्यादा active होते हैं. So when uh, the female reaches puberty, now the reproductive hormones will be released. So that is how all the secondary sexual characters of male and female are seen uh, significantly in uh, the teenage girls and boys. So uh, this will this resting phase में से बाहर आना X का. This will happen when gonadotropin releasing hormone is uh, released from the pituitary gland. Okay, so under that influence of these hormones, these changes will take place. Chemical messengers. Okay. Out of this, only one will mature completely. With. ये समझ में आया? दस बारह primordial cells निकल कर आते हैं resting phase से. उसमें से सिर्फ एक mature हो पाता है. एक ही मेचोर होगा जो आगे बन के इट विल बिकम द एग स्पर्माटोजेनेसिस में ऐसा है क्या नहीं स्पर्माटोजेनेसिस में क्या होता है स्पर्माटोगोनिया बना देन प्राइमरी स्पर्माटोसाइट सेकेंडरी स्पर्माटोसाइट एंड देन यू विल सी द मियोटिक डिविजन होगा नॉर्मली एंड वन प्राइमरी स्पर्माटोसाइट विल गिव राइज टू फोर हैप्लॉइड फॉर्म उसमें ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं कि एक ही स्पॉम बन के आएगा वहां पर द नंबर ऑफ स्पॉम्स रिक्वायर्ड इज मोर okay but in female only one egg will be made meiotic division mein four haploid hote hai na but yahan pe four banenge but usme se ek hi rahega jo egg banega baki ka kya hoga aap logo ne recording dekha hoga to you might have uh, you must be knowing wo polar bodies bante hain okay let's just go step wise maturation the primary oocyte increase in size and reaches about 140 microns in diameter The flat follicular cells now become cuboidal, and other primary oocyte will undergo some changes. Follicular cells multiply to form several layers of cells around the developing primary oocyte. Scattered amorphous material accumulates between the inner cell of follicular cells and the primary oocyte. 
This glycoprotein rich material fuses to form a complete striated membrane called as zona pellucida. Uh, let me just intervene over here. Okay, Shifa, no problem. It derived from both. So, abhi hum kaha pauche? Ten, twelve primordial follicles come out of the resting phase under the influence of gonadotropin hormone. Out of that 10, 12 primordial follicle, only one will further go to mature. It's like millions of sperms attacking the egg and only one sperm is successful of entering the egg. Same concept over here. Out of 10, 12 egg, primordial follicles, one egg is successful. Hoga. Natural selection. It's like Darwin's theory, natural selection. Then it will, uh, that particular will undergo further development and maturation. Achha. So, the primary oocyte will increase the size of the Then there will be multiple layers which will be added. So, the first layer which you can see over here is uh, Zona Pellucida. This is egg. Hai, Ye egg hai. This is the actual ovum. Now, what is the name of the primary Primary oocyte. The name will change as and when the development will take place. So, the primary will secondary oocyte. Banega. Okay, that's the final name that will be given to this egg. You call secondary oocyte or you call the ovum. So, one layer. Then, there are many layers. You can see these layers, then this layer, then this layer. Multiple layers are there. They have all their names and they have functions. Uh, some are uh, protective in nature. Some will help in the fertilization process. Okay, when the sperm is trying to gain entry. So, what are the different changes that will take place? So, these membranes have roles in that. Unka, uh, specific function here. So, this layer is zona pellucida. Then, uh, some uh, these layers in between over here, there will be granulosa cell. Uh, I am just bombarding you with these names. Achha, these are not new. Huh? Uh, again, I am telling you, <laughs> everything has been discussed in the recording. So you have to see the recording and then come to life class. Then it will make sense. Otherwise, you will go to the top of the surface. Then you have zona pellucida. Uh, then you have a granulosa cells, corona radiata. Then you have a membrane that you can see. These are thika cells. Okay? So I'll just play the video again. Achha. Right now, uh, I, I will not go into details of what zona pellucida ka kya function hai. Uh, what is the function of the corona radiator? What is the function of Thika cells? Right now, in this revision, uh, we are not going to discuss that because that has not been discussed in the recording. Now, the recordings which I will be sharing you after this class for the next week, Usme, I have uh, explained in detail about these membranes. So, structure of the secondary oocyte, karke, first video. Hai. Wherein I have explained uh, in detail about these different membranes and unka functions because uske baad another recording which will be shared will be uh, of fertilization. Okay, so that is in connection. Abhi don't worry about uh, the function of these different membranes and you can uh, ignore the names also for now. But next week ke liye wo names and function aapko yaad kar ke hai. Okay, too much of uh, lecture, lecture, lecture. Let's just see the video primary oocyte and follicular cells I'll repeat again, yeah, a more first material accumulates between the inner cell of follicular cells and the primary oocyte this glycoprotein rich material fuses to form a complete striated membrane called as zona pellucida it derived from both primary oocyte and follicular cells Numerous microvilli of primary oocyte projects into the zona pellucida where it comes in contact with similar processes of inner layer of follicular cells. It helps in transfer of nutrition to the developing ovum. Now the multiplication of follicular cells takes place and as a result small spaces appears in between the follicular cells. What do you see in the next stage? This follicular cell, uh, this follicular cell having the primary oocyte inside. Okay, so two names. Yadrako. 
ये सारे जो येलो है ना ये आपके फॉलिकुलर सेल्स है एंड दिस इज द एग दिस इज द एग इन साइड ये सारे लेयर्स है इसके आसपास अभी धीरे धीरे क्या हो रहा है नेक्स्ट स्टेप में यू सी कैविटीज बनना स्टार्ट हो रहे हैं दिस इज कैविटी होलो स्पेस खाली जगह एम्प्टी वेसिकल्स कैविटी ओके इसको बुलाएंगे हम एंट्रिप अब ये जब बड़ा होगा देन वॉट विल बी वॉट इट विल बी कॉल्ड एज एंट्रिम हैविंग एंट्रिम फ्लूड These spaces fuse with each other, forming antrum folliculi. It is filled with fluid called as liquid folliculi. The follicular cells, which forms the outer layer, is called as membrana granulosa. The follicular cells that are present between antrum folliculi and zona pellucida is known as cumulus ovaricus or cumulus ovaricus you can ignore these two names these are very detailed you need not know but ye labeling pata honi chahiye these are the follicular cells okay all of this are the sorry i'll just skip yeah these are the follicular cells एक मिनट ना मेरा कर्स ये चल नहीं रहा है जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट या दीज आर द फॉलिकुलर सेल्स दिस इज द एंट्रिम एंड दीज आर अनदर टाइप ऑफ सेल्स व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट बिटवीन दिस कैविटी एंड द एग तो इनका एक स्पेशल नाम है येलो कलर किया हुआ है क्यूमुलस ओवरिस और क्यूमुलस ओवरिकस ठीक है दिस इज द आउटर मेम्ब्रेन दिस इज द आउटर मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ द होल सेटअप एग इज इनसाइड एंड उसको सराउंडिंग बहुत सारे फॉलिकुलर सेल्स है एंड दिस इज दउटर मोस्ट कवरिंग दोस्ट फॉलिकुलर सेल्स दैट आर सस्पेंड द जोन ऑफ पेलोसिडा एंड डेवलपिंग ओवम कंस्टिट्यूट डिस्कस प्रोलिजरस Uh, ignore this word at the also. same time changes takes place in the stromal cells of ovary surrounding the developing follicle these stromal cells organize to form theca folliculi uh, this you need to know uh, this this layer which is there on the outermost uh, periphery in the name is theca folliculi it's just like a mota outer covering which is protecting the entire structure it is keeping enclosed in a one Nutshell. Thika follicular. Thika follicular consists of two layers. Thika interna, inner vascular and cellular layer, and thika externa, outer fibrous layer. Okay, you are aware of the word interna, externa. Externa is basically a fibrous uh, layer which will. protect it's like a connective uh, tissue which will protect the whole structure and interna is vascular that is it will supply blood uh, and the nourishment to this growing egg cell inside okay at this stage primary oocyte completes the first meiotic division to form secondary oocyte and first polar body ah uh. अब आया हमारा इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑल ऑफ यू आर विद मी एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट कमिंग टू योर माइंड सी वी आर टेकिंग दिस वेरी स्लो हा बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू अंडरस्टैंड ये रिकॉर्डिंग में हो चुका है बट फिर भी आई एम गोइंग थ्रू इट अगेन ओनली फॉर योर सेक मुझे एग्जाम में नहीं बैठना आप लोग को एग्जाम में बैठना है ओके तो वट है It was there in the resting phase. Resting phase से आया दस बारह सेल्स प्राइमोडियल के उसमें से एक आगे जा रहा है तो एक आगे जा रहा है एजेंड वो अभी थोड़ा साइज में ग्रो रहा है अभी तक कोई डिविजन हुई नहीं है अभी होगी जो हम यू नो वेर आई हैव पॉज द वीडियो सो अपटिल यर ओनली दैट प्राइमोडियल फॉलिकल हैविंग द प्राइमरी ऊसाइट वॉज जस्ट ग्रोइंग इन साइज एंड ऑल द प्रोटेक्टिव प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर्स वर कमिंग इन टू पिक्चर डिविजन हैज नॉट बीन टेकन येट ओके Now the division will take place. So, एक बार वो पूरा प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्म हो गया 
एक्चुअली पूरे स्ट्रक्चर को हम बुलाते हैं मेच्योर ग्राफियन फॉलिकल वेर इन दिस सेकेंडरी ऊसाइट इज देर बट वो इसके बाद बुलाएंगे वेन द फर्स्ट माइक्रोमियोटिक डिविजन विल टेक प्लेस तो वी बिगैन विथ ओवन वी बिगैन विथ प्राइमोडियल जर्म लाइन सेल्स दे अंडरवेर माइक्रोटिक डिविजन गेव राइज टू मल्टीपल ओगोनिया दिस ओगोनिया अंडरवेंट मियोटिक डिविजन मियोटिक डिविजन के दो पार्ट होते हैं ना तो सॉरी हाँ दिस ओगोनिया नहीं अभी यहाँ पे कुछ डिविजन नहीं होगा ये माइटोटिक डिविजन यहाँ हुआ आफ्टर माइटोटिक डिविजन ऊगोनिया इज फॉर्म ऊगोनिया फर्दर ग्रोज इन साइज एंड सिलेक्टेड ऊगोनिया दे फॉर्म समथिंग नोन एज प्राइमरी पॉलिकल्स सॉरी प्राइमरी ऊसाइट प्राइमरी ऊसाइट देन दिस प्राइमरी ऊसाइट स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग एंड प्राइमरी फॉलिकल्स कम दे स्टार्ट लेयर इन दिस ऊसाइट so you had the primary oocyte and उसके बाद में सारे हमने अभी layers देखे ना primary follicles तो ये पूरे structure को primordial follicle बुलाते हैं inside the primary egg or the primary oocyte is there now what will happen uh, the whole structure was formed फीका externa भी आ गया फीका interna भी form हो गया uh, सारे membranes अच्छे से form हो गए अब क्या होगा ये जो uh, primary oocyte था ओके विच वॉज रेस्टिंग अब कहा तक डिविजन हुआ था मियोटिक का फर्स्ट प्रोफेज ही हुआ था और कुछ नहीं हुआ था सो मियोटिक वन हैज टू टेक प्लेस मियोसिस वन हैज टू टेक प्लेस एंड देन मियोसिस टू हैज टू टेक प्लेस ये बाकी है हाँ ऊजेनिस का ये बाकी है दिस हैपेंड इन द वूम वेन द बेबी वॉज इन द वूम द फीमेल बेबी वॉज इन द वूम this is this will happen this is happening now the female that baby developed into a teenage female when the puberty starts 15 years of age to so, ab meiosis 1 hoga acha pura bhi nahi hoga ha meiosis 2 we will see it will happen when the sperm will enter the egg to so, bahut uh, lafda hai bhai yahan pe you have to understand it very uh, in in uh, minute details otherwise कैसा होता है एक पेरेंट सेल दो डॉटर सेल बनते हैं इक्वल इन साइज इक्वल साइटोप्लाजम इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ डी एन ए ठीक है बट ओवर योर अन इक्वल डिविजन होगा एक सेल बड़ा बनेगा और एक छोटा ही बन जाएगा तो ये छोटे वाले सेल को हम बुलाएंगे पोलार बॉडी दिस छोटा सेल विच रिजल्टेड आई जिस चेंज द कलर दिस छोटा सेल विच रिजल्टेड एज फर्स्ट माइटोटिक मियोटिक डिविजन ओके सो मियोटिक में क्या होता है पेरेंट सेल डिवाइड टू टाइम्स फाइनली यू गेट हाउ मेनी फोर हेप्लॉइड सेल्स ठीक है थोड़ा आप चेंजेस करेंगे हम लोग यहाँ पे इसमें अनइक्वल डिविजन हो रहा है तो एक बड़ा रहेगा एक छोटा रहेगा देन अगेन यहाँ पे एक बड़ा एक छोटा एक बड़ा और एक छोटा सॉरी ये भी छोटे ही रहेंगे Now just have a look at this diagram. Very simple, but it is very important to notice. So right now we are here. This step, ये वाला step है. Okay. So the primary underwent first meiotic division. So two uh, cells are formed, but division unequal हुआ है. तो एक बड़ा cell बना है. Now this is known as secondary oocyte, and the smaller part, smaller cell is known as polar body. Okay. Then again, this will go. meiotic uh, i will will undergo meiosis 2 that is equational division so this secondary oocyte will again undergo the meiotic division two cells banenge okay ek bada rahega and ek chhota rahega aur ye polar body to ye to chhota hi tha na ye dekho ye to chhota hi tha so when this will undergo division meiotic division so this will result into polar bodies only na yahan pe egg nahi banega because it started with polar body only so it will divide into polar body only here there was this egg cell so when this will undergo next meiosis 2 so one will be the egg 
एंड अगेन छोटू सा एक पोलार बॉडी बनेगा दिस विल बी नोन एज सेकेंड पोलार बॉडी ये वाला होगा सेकेंड पोलार बॉडी एंड दिस इज योर फर्स्ट पोलार बॉडी आई होप इट इज मेकिंग सेंस एंड दिस विल ओनली मेक सेंस वेन यू हैव सीन द रिकॉर्डिंग चलो एंड थी का एक्सटर्ना आउटर फाइब्रस लेयर At this stage, primary oocyte completes the first meiotic division to form secondary oocyte and first polar body. Secondary oocyte consists of twenty two X chromosomes and it receives almost all the cytoplasm of primary oocyte. First polar body consists of twenty two X chromosomes and scanty amount of cytoplasm tell me what is the chromosomal state of the secondary oocyte and obviously of the uh, this thoda kuch chupa dete hu point number mat batao haploid or diploid aisa batao just now we saw what is the chromosome state of this egg now of this secondary oocyte huh what happens in meiotic 1 that is reductional division This is your ten standard, eleven standard. Come on. What is now the chromosomal state? State two options, ah. Huh? You have only two options. Either diploid or haploid. अच्छा आपके सामने आंसर में प्रेजेंट है, but it is present in numbers. So it might confuse you. Come on. अरे अभी तो वो बंदे ने बोला ना. What is twenty two X? Twenty two chromosomes. Twenty two autosome and one is sex chromosome. This X is sex. Female में क्या होता है? X sex होता है ना? हाँ. Males में एक X. Uh, sperms can be of X uh, and Y also. But females have two X. Diploid state में. Twenty two is autosome. Okay. In haploid condition में या diploid condition में? वो बताओ मुझे. Okay. What about others? Abhi, I will not say whether it is right or wrong. Okay. 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 Any more responses or others are agreeing to them? All of you. Haploid. आपका आंसर सही है तो आपका आंसर is absolutely correct. Haploid. So, uh, diploid. 22x बोल रहे हैं ना तो 22 नंबर हो जाएगा यहाँ पे 22 नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोसोम्स एंड वन इज सेक्स क्रोमोसोम तो फीमेल्स में ऑब्वियसलीमोजोम होते हैं तो अगर मैं इसका नंबर में बोलू तो हाउ मच इट विल बी फोर्टी सिक्स ऑटोजोम्स है ना इसका डबल कर दोगे तो फोर्टी सिक्स होगा तो दिस इज ट्वेंटी टू एक्स This is also twenty-two x, fine. So these are haploid in the nature. So this secondary oocyte, when sperm comes with it, then n plus n will be diploid. Okay, and the x is for the sex chromosome. And if and if the sperm entering is of x, so x x female will be. And if the sperm entering is having sex chromosome y, then it will become a boy. Chalo, chalo. Yahan tak to sabko samajh mein aa gaya. first polar body lies in the perivitelline space that is the space between the secondary oocyte and zona pellucida this follicle with secondary oocyte and first polar body now called as mature graafian follicle ah remember this word up at this stage egg is now ready ye egg kon hai bar bar this secondary oocyte egg or the ovum ये उसका सब आसपास का यू नो प्रोटेक्टिव मटेरियल है लाइक दैट दिस इज द होल स्ट्रक्चर मल्टीपल लेयर्स आर देयर ये एग 
बाहर रिलीज होगा एट दिस स्टेज वेन इट इज रेडी मेच्योर्ड इसको हम बुलाएंगे ग्रैफियन फॉलिकल ग्रैफिन इज एम ऑफ दर्सन डिस्कवर्ड जिस इसलिए ग्रैफियन फॉलिकल है ठीक है सेकेंडरी ऑसाइट एंटर्स द सेकेंड म्योटिक डिविजन मैच्योर ग्रेफियन फॉलिकल रिचेज द सर्फेस ऑफ ओवरी एंड बल्जेस आउट दीज चेंजेस वर है इन द ओवरी इन द ओवरी ऑफ द फीमेल्स बॉडी वेन एवरी मंथ दिस विल टेक प्लेस बिकॉज नाउ द फीमेल इज फिफ्टीन प्लस और फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ एज स्टार्टेड प्यूबर्टी स्टार्टेड मेना और मेनाच हाउ यू प्रोनाउंस इट तो ये कब तक चलेगा फोर्टी फाइव फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज एवरी मंथ अंटिल अनलेस फॉर्म इज देयर फर्टिलाइजेशन हुआ प्रेगनेंसी हुई सो दैट्स द अनदर सिनेरियो ठीक है टू फॉर्म स्टिग्मा नाउ ड्यू टू हॉर्मोनल स्टिम्युलेशन द यूटेराइन फिम राय स्वीप द फॉलिकल Stimulating the release of mature secondary oocyte. This is release of the mature secondary oocyte. This release of the egg or release of the ovum is known as ovulation. This secondary oocyte is surrounded by zona pellucida. This process is called ovulation. Further, the suction action of fimbri. and the movement of uterine cilia transfer the secondary oocyte gradually into the infundibulum clear bahut hi lamba chala but i hope uh, it was of benefit and you revised everything theek hai so this is all about oogenesis abhi do uh, options hai wo egg ke paas egg release ho gaya na तो वो एग जो रिलीज हुआ है उसके पास दो ऑप्शन दो फ्यूचर प्रोस्पेक्ट्स हैं। वन इज इफ देर इज फॉर्म लेट से फीमेल इज सेक्शुअली एक्टिव एंड पॉपुलेशन टेक प्लेस एंड द स्पॉम इज देयर इन दूटरिस देन द एग विल यूनाइट विद द स्पॉम जाइगोड बनेगा फर्टिलाइजेशन होगा जाइगोड बनेगा एंड दिस जाइगोड विल डेवलप इन टू एम्ब्रियो and this embryo will further develop into the baby ye story sabko pata hai all of you are aware of this yes agar sperm nahi hai fertilize matlab there is uh, no uh, sexual activity there is no nothing population sperm is not there what will happen to this egg isko kya hoga kahan jayega ye bichara it will come on what will happen ये टेंथ में पढ़ा है आप लोगों ने पढ़ाए कि नहीं पढ़ा है यस इट विल डीजेनरेट एंड व्हाट विल बी द रिजल्ट ऑफ डीजेनरेशन डिस्ट्रक्शन व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस दैट विल बी फॉलोड या मेंस्ट्रुएशन गुड यस मेंस्ट्रुएशन तो फर्स्ट स्टोरी टू केसेस अगर स्पॉम है तो फर्टिलाइजेशन होगा जाइगोड बनेगा एम्ब्रियो बनेगा बेबी विल डेवलप प्रेगनेंसी विल टेक प्लेस इफ नो स्पॉम देन दिस एग तो वेट करेगा एक दो दिन स्पॉम नहीं आया तो वो क्या होगा अपने आप को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगा अलोंग विद द लाइनिंग ऑफ द यूट्रिस तो मेंस्ट्रुएशन विल रिजल्ट सो एवरी मंथ द ब्लीडिंग मेंस्ट्रुअल फ्लूड विल बी रिलीज आउट ऑफ द वजाइना दैट वी विल स्टडी अंडर मेंस्ट्रुएशन कॉल्ड हैविंग अ पीरियड As girls get old, menstruation. Menstruation. You can hear the sound, all of you. Or just give me a confirmation, one of you. How is it? Will you? Also, called having a period. As girls get older and their bodies change, they get their periods. The uterus is the part inside the body where a baby grows when a woman is pregnant. The inner lining of the uterus supports and nourishes the developing baby. If there is no baby, the lining is shed during her period. So, it is not only the egg but also egg plus 
egg plus the thickened endometrium lining so every month the female uh, uterus prepare itself for pregnancy because by the time the egg is developing and the egg is getting released tab tak kya ho raha hai ye uterus kya kar raha hai apne aap ko prepare kar raha hai usko kya pata uh, you know you never know the egg is released and the sperm is there somewhere over year of fertilization ho gaya to yahan pe cheeze ready honi chahiye ready in the case can you see this dark red lining this is thickening of the endometrium this will provide a place for implantation and the baby will grow over year okay so uh, this is by default every month will take place to so, jaise humne abhi next we are discussing the next scenario case number 2 that fertilization will not take place the egg which is released it will be destroyed so wo egg aayega travel karega along with the egg ye jo thickened lining hua tha वो भी क्या होगा इट विल स्टार्ट डीजेनरेटिंग द ब्लड वेसल्स विल ब्रेक ऑफ एंड एवरीथिंग विल कम आउट ऑफ द वजाइना दिस विल हैपन एवरी मंथ मेकिंग सेंस ड्यूरिंग अ पीरियड ब्लड एंड अदर टिश्यू फ्रॉम द यूटरस लीव द बॉडी थ्रू द वजाइना अ पीरियड कैन लास्ट फ्रॉम अ फ्यू डेज टू अबाउट अ वीक यू मे हैव हर्ड डॉक्टर्स टॉक अबाउट द मेंस्ट्रुअल साइकिल दिस इज द टाइम फ्रॉम वन पीरियड टू अनदर यूजुअली about 28 days day 1 of the menstrual cycle is the first day of a period the uterus starts to shed its lining as soon as the period ends the uterus prepares again to receive a fertilized egg making sense up till here any doubts up till here no eggs are released from a woman's ovaries eggs are super tiny One tenth the size of a poppy seed. Women have two ovaries, one on each side. The fallopian tubes lead from each ovary to the uterus. In the middle of the menstrual cycle, an ovary releases an egg. After ovulation, the egg travels down the fallopian tube. It takes a few days to complete the journey. Meanwhile, the lining of the uterus. gradually gets thicker so it can support the development of a fertilized egg if the egg gets fertilized it will implant in the uterus and the woman is pregnant if the egg is not fertilized the woman is not pregnant and the egg will begin to dissolve because the woman is not pregnant the lining of the uterus is not needed a woman will have her mother the lining of the uterus is then not needed so fir ye apne aap ye bhi shed hone lagega it will the blood vessels will break off and that is how the whole blood along with the egg and the tissue uh, which broke and the blood vessels will sub ban ke it will exit the vagina monthly period and the cycle begins again and then again the whole story will begin and again and again so this will happen cyclically changes will take place every 28 days any questions any questions guys uh all this will happen under the influence of hormones theek hai to humne ye sab kiya tha na recording mein maine ye sab share kiya tha aap logo se just have a look and waiting for few more minutes if you have any doubts or question uh just have a look on the hormones also because in the video hormone and part was not discussed so and then i also mentioned about this five in lesson usually blood clots when it exits the body but uh, menstrual fluid will not because uh, उसके अंदर फाइब्रिन और लाइसन होता है विच प्रिवेंट्स क्लॉटिंग ऑफ द ब्लड ठीक है अब ये देख लो जरा हॉर्मोन देख लो थोड़ा से तो इट विल बिगिन विद द फॉलिकल स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन अंडर द इफेक्ट ऑफ जी एन आर एच जी एन आर एच गोनाइड्रोट्रोपिन रिलीजिंग हॉर्मोन ये कहाँ से आ रहा है पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड से आ रहा है आपके दिस इज ऑल्सो कमिंग ऑन द पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड एंड पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड से ये हॉर्मोन ट्रेवल होके इट इज हैविंग एन इफेक्ट ऑन द ओवरी This will cause the follicles to develop. ये हॉर्मोन बोलेगा चलो फॉलिकल डेवलप होना शुरू हो जाओ ओके देन मेच्योर फॉलिकल विल है 
so after the so this phase is follicular phase egg will be released yahan pe estrogen picture mein aata hai estrogen hormone okay will be at peak the dikha nahi raha hai but isko jo i'll show you another diagram wait uh just pause for a minute for the hormone i will show you another uh, diagram so usme clear hoga uh, once the egg is released egg gaya theek hai ye baki ka kuch reh jata hai piche this baki ka kuch is known as corpus luteum it turns into uh, this structure okay dekho iska naam hi iska kaam bata rahe jaise iska ye graphene follicle was having this egg na to iska egg chale gaya iska egg uh, imagine loot gaya so now it became luteum corpus luteum okay to us hisab se naam yaad rakho now this will start uh, producing progesterone hormone progesterone is uh, the hormone responsible for maintaining the pregnancy because ye egg to release hoga na abhi isko nahi pata ki pregnancy honi hai ya nahi honi hai that will be decided in the uh, if the sperm is there in the fallopian tube or not so till that time it will keep releasing uh, progesterone hormone if in case fertilization ho gaya to progesterone is required if not then after certain time progesterone progesterone ka level niche aa jayega p for pregnancy p for progesterone ye naam yaad rakho it is secreted by corpus luteum theek hai uh, i will show you this diagram ye sare phases aapko recording mein humne discuss kiya detail mein so you have to go through it uh, obviously we don't have time to go into all the wordings step by step just ha huh, this hormonal uh, which hormone peaks when wo thoda se revise kar lete hain theek hai okay just have a look you can see all the hormones over here uh, fsh hello 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 fsh lh and then you will see estrogen and progesterone also so when does fsh comes into picture when does lh comes into picture when is uh, progesterone and estrogen coming into picture have a look and let me know if you have any doubts mommy i will okay देखो तो मैंने ये दोनों बता दिया आपको एफ एस एच और जब ये रिलीज होना होता है तो धीरे धीरे एल एच बढ़ जाता है एट द टाइम ऑफ ओविलेशन सिमिलरली शुरू में ईस्ट्रोजन लेवल्स बहुत कम होते हैं फीमेल के बॉडी में वेन द ओविलेशन पीक्स तो एस्ट्रोजन विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज सिक्रेशन ऑफ ईस्ट्रोजन हॉर्मोन विल इंक्रीज दीज आर वॉट फीमेल रिप्रोडक्टिव हॉर्मोन चार नाम है याद रखना है एफ एस एच एल एच Estrogen, progesterone. Progesterone देखो एकदम कम है अभी उसकी जरूरत नहीं है ना जब एग रिलीज हो जाएगा ओव्यूलेशन हो जाएगा तब ईस्ट्रोजन थोड़ा थोड़ा नीचे जाएगा प्रोजेस्टरॉन ज्यादा रिलीज होगा बॉडी में प्रोजेस्टरॉन का कॉन्सेंट्रेशन अमाउंट बॉडी में इंक्रीज हो जाएगा वाई बिकॉज द एग माइट गेट फर्टिलाइज ना सो द बॉडी नीड्स टू बी प्रिपेयर फॉर प्रेगनेंसी हा इफ द इफ देर इज नो प्रेगनेंसी टेकिंग प्लेस टू प्रोजेस्टरॉन ऑटोमेटिकली एट द एंड ऑफ द साइकिल अप्रोक्सिमेटली ट्वेंटी सेवन थर्टी डेज वो धीरे धीरे खुद कम हो जाएगा उसका सिक्रेशन कम हो जाएगा एंड थोड़ा से ईस्ट्रोजन विल बी इंक्रीज एंड देन द होल साइकिल एट द एंड लाइक दैट सो यू नीड टू नो दीज फोर हॉर्मोन्स एंड यू नीड टू नो वेन डू दे पीक पीक मतलब ये उनका कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कब इंक्रीज होता है बॉडी में ईस्ट्रोजन का एट द टाइम ऑफ ओव्यूलेशन प्रोजेस्टरॉन का आफ्टर ओव्यूलेशन ड्यूरिंग द ल्यूटियल सिक्रीटरी फेज और ल्यूटियल फेज इन द सेम वर्ड्स एफ एस एच का कब इन द शुरू शुरू यू नो इन द बिगिनिंग वेन द फॉलिकल्स आर स्टार्ट डेवलपिंग अगेन इन द ओवरी बाय द टाइम मेन्स्ट्रुएशन द फ्लूड इज यू नो कमिंग आउट द ब्लड इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द वचाइना टिल दैट टाइम द ओवरी इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अनादर सेट ऑफ दिस i hope uh, all this is clear to you see this is nothing new to you apne 10th mein bhi ye padha hai 10th uh, mein this was, this was there in the syllabus in 12th you have again in the syllabus but quite a bit in detail 
quite in detail okay so you now you should be knowing everything in detail 10th mein agar nahi aata tha theek hai chal gaya kaam ho gaya but abhi aapko aana chahiye theek hai okay anything else you want from me i do most of the talking in the live class also and in the recorded to mai baat kar rahi uh, i don't know when you guys will start discussing and talking most of our time goes in this only because uh, I don't know. A bit new, new. Hey, so I'm doing most of the talking. Let's see if uh, in future you guys take over me and you start discussing and revising, and I will sit back and I will just listen passively. So next chapter, we will see if we can come up with something. I can assign uh, all of you uh, one one topic, and then you will revise the topic with the whole class, and I will sit back and just see. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Shreya Patel has come today, na? No? Shreya Patel, are you here, or you just you left? I have seen it. Sarthak is new. Uh, sorry, I couldn't welcome in the uh, middle of the class because. Uh, Something heavy was happening. A uh, heavy concept chal raha tha. That is why I did not wanted to disturb the flow. So, hello, Sartha. How are you? Can you introduce yourself? Hello, ma'am. Hello. Just hello, will you introduce? Karoge, Sartha. Nee, ma'am. My name is Sartha. Satput. Okay. Where do you stay, Sartha? धारावी आपके साथ रिकॉर्डिंग भी शेयर की है तो आप धीरे धीरे उसको सुनते रहना और जो कुछ भी डाउट आए एनीथिंग यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड यू कैन रीच आउट टू मी ओके और यू कैन रीच आउट टू योर क्लासमेट्स ऑल्सो क्लासमेट्स क्या बात है विष्णु ऑल गुड एट योर प्लेस What happened, Vishnu? बारिश का मौसम हाँ तो उससे और क्लास uh, नहीं आने का क्या कनेक्शन है चलो अच्छा नेटवर्क अरे बाप रे अभी तो मुंबई में बारिश चालू भी नहीं हुई है विष्णु का मन आप मुंबई में हो कि कहा इतनी भी नहीं स्टार्ट हुई है अभी तो हल्की हल्की बारिश है Uh, all of you can see something in the chat box so two quizzes come on all of you will come on eq4 eq4 pe aa jao quickly click on to the link and now we will solve few questions on eugenesis all of you attempt sir the given you can attempt jo bhi aapko samajh mein aaye please be too happy present yes yes uh, rupesh maine aap logo ko shuru mein maaf kar diya Oh no! Yeah, I did. Yeah, here is your this. Okay. Chalo, all of you come onto this. Click onto the first link in the chat box. First wala link ka. Oh Genesis. Five questions are there. Come on, we'll do that now. Giving you few minutes. Uh, Jaise hi mujhe responses dikhna start ho jayenge, we will maximum responses aa jayenge. We will discuss the question. Okay. All of you attend. Even Sathak, who, jitna bhi samjhna hai, jo bhi aata hai, wo karo. Aisa nahi ki right. Oh. Or, uh, we will get to learn only, na? So try to attend. In the bandi dalo, naam dalo. Start doing. 